Bow week was good. Bow week was good. Came earlier than um, than I've had in the past, but uh, it's awesome. We able to finish out the last 12 weeks strong. Uh, nah, really just chill, man. Hung out with the fam, you know, and uh, that's about it. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That's uh, came at a time. We definitely had some time to reflect, review some film early in about a week before I kind of just, you know, what I'm saying, just took a couple of days off. But uh, definitely evaluate where I am, where I want to be, and what I need to do to get there. And um, definitely came at a good time. Yeah, I mean, I'm always gonna play it to my standard. Um, like as far as like the effort being there, and you know, the want to to be there. As far as um, you know, whether it's making plays when they're there and um, also capitalizing off certain opportunities and learning on things where to get better and applying it in the game, those are things where um, when you look back at it in hindsight, you're like, I could have did this better. So definitely have some good time to uh, evaluate, but I feel like I'm um, playing, you know, playing well, but I could be, I feel like I could be a lot better. And um, that's just me being, you know, self-critical and I'm excited for what's to come. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely just always being self-critical, you know what I'm saying? Hardest on myself than anybody else. Um, you know, sometimes I got to have the people around me, you know, tell me I'm, you know, doing doing all right, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I just always want to be better and do better and uh, just have that, always had that feeling of, like, never, like, you know, arrived and always wanted more. And um, and that's just the kind of kind of guy I am, you know? Good, bad, or indifferent, you know, I just stay stay hungry, you know what I'm saying? And, and always want to continue to increase in every aspect of my life and um and that's just a um trait that I'm you know that I have and um want to continue just to keep that fire burning what were you saying? Some people, some people like, like family type stuff you know what I'm saying you go to the, after the game like man you know talking your mom your girl how you feeling and man I might ain't do too they're like man you did you know what I'm saying you did what you could you know this and that da, da, da. so just just that's the kind of thing I'm talking about Um, you know, they're definitely a big front. They've been switching the guys uh, all the way across the offensive line. They, just keeping the same core guys, but just in different positions. So they're very, you know, multi-talented and uh, doing what they need them to do. Uh, we practiced against them earlier this week. Highly, highly competitive group, proud group, and um, got some really good guys, um, big guys too, and uh, um, playing, you know, guard positions, tackle positions. So they, every one of them, they, they, they can play every position. You know what I'm saying? So it's been um, – it's been a, they had a good front, a good quarterback. They finally got the quarterback back. And um, obviously they got some playmakers on the outside. So they, they, they got the very capable group. Um, I don't know if it changed. I think, you know, training camp was what it was, you know what I'm saying, to, to get better during that time when both teams are ramping up to get ready for a season. Um, obviously, we seen them, they seen us, so I don't think either team are just going to come out and do the exact same thing. But uh, And also, past success doesn't determine future success. You know what I'm saying? You got to give this game the same respect you give any other game just because you've seen them earlier in the year. You know, um, every moment, new moment. You know, every week, a new week. And uh, got to treat it as such. You know, um, we played five games to this point. I think they played six up to this point. So there's a film out there of how you want to do things. So definitely, you know, treating, the week, treating this week with the respect they deserve. As far as plays and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt, without a doubt. He got, he definitely got great balance and um he all, Coach Pete's always gonna have some of his sleeve, but he definitely gonna at the end of the day put us in the best position to have success. And uh, how did Audi uh how's he doing? He gave you credit for his back Oh yeah, you know, he, he growing he growing great as a player, man. I I knew he was gonna be um, be a good player the way he came into camp and worked and uh, and still as a super young guy to, you know the the sky is the past the limit for him you know what I'm saying so I mean 
Um, he, he doing great things on his own, man, you know, and I'm proud of him to get his first sack and uh, came at an earlier time than when I got mine as a rookie. So hopefully we all can continue to build up and get some more sacks and stuff like that, but definitely happy for him. And when he get that first one, I'm sure he's going to get more and more and going to give him that hunger just to continue to get better. But definitely, definitely great young player that we have. We're lucky to have him. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anytime you get that experience, man, it's always good. So having young guys step up and uh, be able to be effective for us and not just be out there was awesome. You know what I'm saying? See Hawkins go out and get that interception. and uh, how, how, Whoever we need to step up, they, they ready know what to do, and uh, that's just going to make the team better in the end. Um, you know, definitely, I just feel like, you know, as a coach, you know, he putting us in position to have the most success that we can, you know, for me being a player in the moment, I'm not looking at it as like a drawback thing. I'm just looking at this is what our install is this week. You know, I, I ain't get to hear his press conference about dialing back or whatever it may be, but, um, I trust him enough to do what he need me to do. The players trust him enough to do what we need him to do. he has been doing it for a long time at a high level and, um, and shoot, we're going to do it to the best of our abilities. And however we want to do it, however the process he want to go about, we doing going behind him a thousand percent. And um, it looked like it's been doing a good good thing for us. We've been playing some good defense. I mean, and to that end, I mean, it, it does seem like, even though it's been five games, that there has kind of been an evolution of this defense mm -hmm. over those five games. I mean, what do you kind of see in, in that regard um, from this group? Yeah, definitely growing every week. You know, I definitely thought we're growing every week. And uh, guys are hungry to get better, you know? and. Um, like, like we said earlier, also having some young guys step up and be highly effective, you know, that's just going to make us even better. So um, definitely growing week in and week out. And that's what you want to do. This, 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 this thing in the league, man, it's a, it's a marathon, you know. You know, you can be – I done been on the team here in Atlanta. We started off 5-0. and We didn't make the playoffs, you know what I'm saying. I've been here with we 3-4. and four. We went to the Super Bowl. I've been here. We, you know what I'm saying. So it's just, it's just anyways, um, you know, the, the way that the season go, you know, you just got to take it week by week and get better. You know what I'm saying? Get better and better. And uh, you let the rest take care of itself. You know what I'm saying? But we're definitely working on improving week in and week out. And um, I'm excited for what's to come for us. All right, Greg. Cool.